there has been a meteoric rise in Uganda's age grade football over the last few years. Uganda qualified for the 2018 AFCON Under-17 Championship in Tanzania and fell short of World Cup qualification. This year, Uganda qualified for both the Under-17 and Under-20 Continental Championships. While the Under-17 showpiece was cancelled at the 11th hour, the Under-20 Championship was staged in Mauritania. Playing scintillating football, Uganda's Under-20 team, also known as the Hippos, finished as runners-up after losing 2-0 at the hands of Ghana. There was, however, no shortage of impressive performances, including a famous 4-1 trouncing of North African giants Tunisia. FUFA Youth Development Manager Bashir Mutiaba says the inroads made are the product of a process that is every inch intentional. The process of uh, uh, player development uh, requires uh, to consider our four pillars of play. Each position has been uh, uh, profiled. I will have the qualities, the player competencies that we need per position. After being scouted, these players have to be developed and nurtured gradually. A systematic approach is taken to ensure the players are well groomed. It's on that very note that the decision is made on who makes the grade and who doesn't. When uh, developing uh, young players, uh, you need to put into consideration uh, the four pillars uh, of the game, uh, which include uh, the technique, uh, also look at uh, the tactics, also look at the psychology uh, aspect, also look at uh, the physical aspect. Youth football development, just like elsewhere, comes with its own challenges. Muchaba says FUFA often finds itself running into stumbling blocks. Their long-term goal is to ensure no talent is left out. Most of our, our players come from areas that we really lack uh, enough coaches. However, FUFA is trying hard to ensure that uh, we, did, well, we uh, do as much as we can in terms of capacity building. The task of integrating players from age grade competitions to the senior team is always the end game in football development. Mochiawa says the current crop will eventually be integrated into the Cranes team. Contingencies are also in place to ensure players don't stagnate. To ensure that all players in various parts of the country get an opportunity to participate, by giving them a conducive environment, by giving them enough competitions, by giving them the best coaches around them. When qualification for the 2026 World Cup starts, the current lot should be in a position to take up the playing reins. Whether things play out as Mutiaba believes, they will remain to be seen. For now though, Ugandans can delight in the exploits of their age-grade football teams. Felix Manindo, NTV Sport.